Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and I've got another tricky question for you today. Um, so this one, we have a, uh, a curve and a region. So the curve is given as this, and the region is bounded between the curve x equals 2 and x equals 1, and of course the x-axis as well. Um, okay, and we also have a table of values here between 1 and 2. So um, we're going to be using the trapezium rule to work out an estimate for the area R. Okay, so... Um, the trapezium rule looks like this, and it's given in your formula booklet. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say that the uh, region R <clears throat> is equal to the integral between 2 and 1, I believe the limits were, um, y dx. Now, y is equal to this. So that's what we're going to put in there, uh, the curve. So that's equal to... Uh, 12x squared ln of 2x squared dx, and we're saying that is approximately equal to um, one half of h. Okay, so let's find h. Well, what exactly are we doing when we're doing the trapezium rule? We are splitting this curve into strips like this. Because uh, we've got 1.25, we know that, we know 1.5, we know 1.75, and we know 2. And then of these strips, we are turning those strips into trapezii, I think is the plural of trapezium, I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, so we create these trapeziums that look like this. So the height of a trapezium is the gap between the two parallel sides. So it's this gap here. So you can see clearly that that is going to be 0 0.25, so that is the value of h. Or, simply put, it's just the space in between the x values on your chart. So we know h is 0 0.25. Okay, so we can go back down here, and we can say um, that's multiplied by the height, which is 0 0.25. And then we've got a big curly bracket, and then we've got y0 plus yn. So that is the uh, first y value and the last y value. So we need to add those two together. And then we're going to plus on two lots of all of the other y values, the ones in the middle. So this one, this one, and this one. So 21.4 plus 40.6 plus 66.6. .6 close that up and then also close up the curly bracket there and then we have our estimate now i'm not going to bore you um, working that out on my calculator uh, so we get a value of four five point six six five um, and i think the question did say to two significant figures so therefore we need to round that even more uh, so that is yeah 46, uh, and that is the units squared. Okay, perfect. Right, so that's part A done. And there's our answer. Um, so we'll move on to part B, which says, use this substitution to show that the area could be written as this. Okay, so that's part A, this is part B. And essentially, well, the area R, again, we've already got We've already shown here that the area R would be the solution to this integral. So we just need to transform this integral using this substitution. Okay, so we can do that. Um, so what I normally do when we transform uh, substitutions um, is I will differentiate the substitution. So this becomes du by dx is equal to 2x. And then we're going to make uh, dx the subject. So we could do that by just doing a little bit of rearranging, times it by dx, then dividing by 2x. So we get du over 2x, like so. Okay, now um, ideally I want dx just simply in terms of u. So I've got a 2x here, we need to swap that out. So if u does equal x squared, then we know that... Um, u to the half is equal to x, so just taking the square root of both sides. So 2u to the half is equal to uh, 2x. Okay, lovely. Uh, so just scroll down a bit more. 
and this is going to tell us that dx is equal to du over 2u to the half. Um, perfect. Yeah, that's all good. Okay, um, the next thing we need to do is our limits. So if I just draw a little table like so, and we have uh, our x limits were 2 and 1. So now our limits for u, well, we just sub it into the substitution, into here. Uh, so u is equal to x squared. So just square these, we get 4 and we get 1. Perfect. Okay, so now I think we're ready to transform. Um, we can say that r is equal to the integral between 2 and 1 of 12x squared ln of 2x squared dx. And this is now equal to the integral between 4 and 1, because we've changed the limits. Um, we know x squared is u, so this becomes 12u. Um, and if x squared again is u, then 2x squared is 2u, so this becomes ln of 2u. And then dx is this over here, um, which I could write as 1 half u to the minus a half du. Uh, so the u to the half is on the bottom of the fraction, so I've just written it as a negative power. The 2 is on the bottom, so that's the same as a half, and then times through by du. Okay, perfect. Um, so now, I think we're good. We just need to simplify this slightly. Um, we've got a half and we've got 12, so that makes 6. We've got um, u to the 1 times u to the minus a half, and we add the powers, so 1 plus minus a half is just a half. And then we've just got this ln of 2u, and then du. And I believe that is exactly what we were looking for. Uh, we can scroll up here, uh, and yes, that is a direct hit, that is a match. Okay, perfect. Uh, so we can box that up, and that is our answer for part B. Okay, great. Part C, um, and it looks like we are integrating this, uh, and talking of integration, check out my live revision session on Sunday, the 13th of April. Uh, link in the description, uh, be great to see you there, helps out the channel, and it will be helpful for you in learning everything I know about integration. So check it out. Okay, part C. Um, hence, using calculus, find the exact area, writing it in the form. So we just have to use to do this integration. Now, uh, I've spotted here that this is a um, two functions multiplied together. So this is primed for integration by parts. Now, I use what's called the DI method, um, which, again, in my live revision session, I will be going through in lots of detail. Um, but for now, this is how I would use it. Uh, so we would do uh, plus, minus, plus, minus down the side here. Um, I have to put any logarithm into uh, the differentiation slot. And then what's left over, the other function, um, is 6u to the half. Okay, um, so I differentiate this left-hand side. Now, some people always uh, find it quite tricky to differentiate uh, ln of 2u. Um, the way that I see it is ln of 2u um, is the same as ln of 2 plus ln of u. Uh, so differentiating this, well, ln of 2 is just a constant, so that differentiates to 0. And ln of u differentiates to 1 over u. So regardless of how many u's you have inside of the logarithm, uh, the natural logarithm, it's always going to differentiate to 1 over u, like that. Uh, you can also prove that using the chain rule as well. I'll leave that up to you to do that. Okay, and then next, when we integrate this, um, we need to up the power uh, to 3 over 2, and then divide by the new power, so that becomes 4. Um, so there we go, we get this. 
Okay, now this is this is one of the uh, cases where we're never going to get to zero by differentiating. So instead, we just multiply this by this, and then we wrap around and integrate that. Okay, so we can say that the region R is equal to um, these two times together, which is going to give you 4u to the 3 over 2 ln of 2u. That part's good. Then minus the integral of times these two together gives us 4u to the half du. Okay, so the minus comes from here, and we're integrating this final step, and that closes off the di method. Um, and then 1 over u times u to the 3 over 2 is just u to the half. Okay, cracking. Okay, so we've got this 4... Um, oh, I better put the limits in as well, so just in case anyone gets upset with me. There we go. Uh, so this is ln of 2u. And then when we integrate this, we're going to up the power to 3 over 2. Divide by 3 over 2 becomes 8 over 3. So it's minus 8 over 3 uh, u uh, to the 3 over 2. So we've got the power. Okay, that's between 4 and 1. Okay, great. Um, perhaps we could factorise here, but or we could just sub in our limits. I don't think it's, it's probably worth, it's probably not worth factorising. Okay, um, so this will be fun. So 4, so when I sub in 4, um, I need to take the because uh, of the half take the square root which gives uh, 2 then cube gives 8 then times by 4 gives 32 uh, and then ln of 2 times 4 is ln 8 I'd always recommend just like just trying to do it in your head um, uh, it's just good practice so 4 rooted is 2 cubed is 8 8 times 8 uh, is 64 so 8 to 8 and I sick on the floor, 8 times 8 is 64, um, and then over 3. And then minus, uh, when we sub in 1, well it's just going to be 4 and then ln 2, and sub in 1 here, minus 8 over 3. Okay, great. Um, so what is 32 ln 8? Well, that is the same as 32 ln 2 to the 3. Using log rules, we can bring the 3 down, become 96 ln 2. So 96 ln 2. Um, minus ln, uh, 4 ln 2 uh, from here. Um, we've got a minus and a minus. Uh, so that makes plus um, 8 over 3. And then we've got minus 64 over 3. Um, okay, so... This is going to be 92 ln 2, uh, and this will be minus um, 56 over 3. Uh, and I think that's in the form they want it, or technically they want the constant, or not the constant, but the, um, uh, the rational part there. And then we're going to add the... And that is my final answer. Check out my live revision session for more tips and tricks on integration. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.